Hello friends, today is Monday, May the 11th, and here's today's daily devotion. Uh, the scripture reading comes from Ruth, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem and Judah went to live in the country of Moab, he and his wife and two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of the wife, Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malon and Chilion. They were Ephraimites, Ephrathites from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there, but Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite wives. The name of one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. When they had lived there for about ten years, both Malon and Chilion also died, so that the woman was left without her two sons or her husband. Then she started to return with her daughters-in-law from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had had consideration for his people and given them food. So she set out from the place where she had been living, she and her two daughters-in-law, and they went on their way to go back to the land of Judah. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find security, each of you, in the house of your husband. Then she kissed them, and they wept aloud. They said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. And I think this is an interesting reflection on uh, what is the nature of family. Um, you all know that uh, my family is uh, not what would be considered a traditional family, even though it is a husband and wife and four children. Um, but uh, our children are two different generations, Trista older and the three younger ones. Um, and for me, they're all adopted. So we have a very non-traditional kind of family, and, you know, along with the fact that two of my children are from race other than my own, other than Caucasian. Um, so, uh, you know, what, what, what is it that makes up family? Is it, is it blood? Or is it something else? Now, I think what this passage is telling us that is that it's not just marriage even, but that it's a, a matter of um, kinship, of love, um, of, uh, you know, common, uh, common interest, uh, common faith. Um, I think our church is a great family. Um, and I think that's one of the things that hurts the most at this time is, you know, it's hard to not be with your family, right? Um, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think is the nature of family? What's family about? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. We'll see you again tomorrow, right? Take care and God bless. Bye now.